For me personally, the main difference is being comfortable. You know, last year I was uncomfortable because I didn't really know uh, what to expect. And this year I know what to expect, so I'm way more comfortable. How about the the enhanced role you've had to play when Nick was out? How much does that help you in going into this stage now? Uh, it just brought me a lot of confidence in my abilities, especially offensively, uh, being able to score the ball. Um, also helped me be more dominant on defense because without Nick, you know, I could depend on him instead. Now it's really on me to defend at the basket, so uh, more dominant in that way. Pretty funny how quickly you go from the new kid on the team to where you're playing kind of in a leadership role like that. Uh, yeah, it is. I mean, um, but I feel like that's how it is. It's going to be for all the freshmen. Like next year, they're not going to be freshmen. They're right. veterans. Right. They're veterans. They've been through the ropes. They know what to expect. So now they need to help the, the freshmen that's coming in, and that's kind of how it is. But this team you're facing, I've talked to a couple of the Bradley guys, and you know they very much respect your guys' ability, but they said, you know, we can play with these guys, and we can bottle it up in the paint, make them shoot from outside. Your thoughts on that team you're playing? Um, scrappy team. Um, Athletic team in some ways, but they can shoot the ball from deep, from from NBA range. They got a couple guys who can shoot from deep, uh, so they're going to be a team that we have to be very disciplined. You know, can't fall for any shot face or anything like that. Uh, can't give up open threes for them, and uh, communicate. What's that line between excitement and nerves when you get on this kind of a stage? Uh, when you have a mindset of getting better, it kind of gets rid of the nerves because instead of feeling like okay, I can't make a mistake. It's just about working hard and getting better and learning from the situations. And social media and stuff, you get a lot of love from back home, a lot of people touching base with you. and saying All the time, all the time. I get stuff um, on Instagram a lot. Uh, people tell me, like, man, like, way to keep representing and stuff like that. And and it's, it's cool just because, you know, um, I haven't been home a lot. I've been up here. <laughs> I've been in East Lansing literally, like, for a whole year, for maybe even two years. So uh, it's pretty cool when people reach out. Obviously, you had a great celebration winning a regular season, winning a postseason Big Ten title. But this is what people always remember and talk about. And for all the success the Spartans have had, haven't been past the opening weekend for three years. Is that something you guys talk about or no? Nope. Uh, we don't really talk about it as far as, like, man, we've been losing. we got to get out of here. It's more like we're going to win the weekend. That's our goal. We're going to come in. We're going to try to win the first game. And then we're going to try to win the second game. That's that's a successful season for us if we can win the weekend. And I know there's pressure that comes with it, but this is why you play, right? This is what it's all about. All about. Um, and it's crazy because in the regular season, you would think like it's all about getting better. But at the end of the season, it's all about getting wins. You just want to uh, survive in advance.